Hello and welcome. Today, I have something extraordinary, something revolutionary. It opens up a picture. So let's get into the code. Uh, so what this program does is that it creates two triangles to form a rectangle, and on top of that rectangle, it maps a texture. So over here you can see uh, these are the vertices for the rectangle. And these are the two triangles that form the rectangle. And the way we select any image is uh, from here. So this string uh, defines which image you want to open up. So when I uh, go in into my folder and I go into the images folder, Let's say I want to open up this mesa.jpg uh, image. So the way I would do that is over here, I would put uh, mesa.jpg. And over here, I would select uh, number three. And number three is for RGB images. And for RGB images, the width and height don't matter, so uh, we don't have to care about that. We come over here, we open up a terminal, and we compile everything. So this uh, should work, and it does. And when I put it into full screen, it dynamically changes its, uh, uh, its resolution to match it. And if I uh, change the size of the window, it does the same. So that's that. And let's say I want to display something else. So under images, I would, let's say I want to display uh, a different format uh, of images. So there's RGB and there is YUV images. So I want to display uh, Jiraiya 1920 1080. So the way I would do that is over here, I would put in Jiraiya uh, underscore 1920 underscore 1080 dot UY, UYVY. And for YUV 422 images, which is UYVY, we would select two. And for YUV images, the width and height are important, but since they are the same, uh, we are perfectly fine here. We go back here and uh, compile everything again using our make file. We go back to our main directory, and when we double click on this, it should display our image. So something uh, about uh, this program, when you press spacebar, it turns into wireframe mode, uh, wireframe mode, and uh, you can see the two triangles that make up the square, or the rectangle rather. Uh, so the difference between uh, YUV images and RGB images is that RGB images are red, uh, green, and blue channels, but in old times you only had black and white images uh, on our, on your TV. So the way you converted those uh, into uh, actual color was by adding two more channels of, uh, of chrominance. And uh, you had one channel of luminance. Luminance was your grayscale, and two chrominance were your uh, color uh, shifters. So uh, over here, uh, this fragment shader, uh, what this is doing is that it's uh, multiplying the YUV image with this matrix to convert it into an RGB image, and it's and then it's displaying that RGB image on top of uh, the on top of, this, of the rectangle that we made. So that's that. And uh, similarly, we have another program over here, which is like a brother to our previous program, which is optimized for NVIDIA graphics cards. So over here, if we select uh, the same image, so let's say uh, Jiraiya uh, 
underscore 1920 underscore 1080 uh, dot uh, yuv I believe it's uh, dot yuv uh, yeah and for yv for 20 images we select number one over here and for YV images, remember that uh, width and height have to be mentioned. So this is fine. But uh, if we make this and we go over here and we double click on this, our program doesn't work. Uh, and the reason why is that currently by default, every uh, Every program on my laptop uh, is run by the integrated graphics uh, from the CPU. So the way you would change that is by going into the NVIDIA settings and give it a little bit of time to open up. Uh, and then over here, we go into program settings under manage 3D settings, and then we add uh, our program which is NVIDIA optimized, and we select our high performance NVIDIA processor over here, and we hit apply. And wait for that, and now we go back here and we double click on this, and it works. So at the way we know that it works is over here, if I open this up, for my NVIDIA graphics card activity, you can see that this uh, EXT file is working uh, on my graphics card. But the only thing here is that the, the optimized version doesn't create uh, a rectangle using two triangles. Uh, it uh, uses this function over here. Uh, let me just find it real quick. Um, GL clear, GL buffer size, GL viewport. Ah, over here, uh, GL draw texture NV. So anything ending with NV is uh, for NVIDIA graphics cards. So this basically maps a texture directly onto your screen. So it skips over like half of uh, all the code in the normal uh, normal file. So yeah, that's. Uh, just a little demo on this image display. I'm, uh, the next step is probably to make uh, a 3D uh, sort of object in OpenGL and uh, try to uh, make that move. My end goal is to uh, create something that is interactable. But uh, let's see, uh, those are future plans anyways. So uh, the link for the GitHub uh, repository for this entire project will be in the description and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Um, something that I forgot to mention is that this website, learnopengl.com, is a really great resource if you want to learn about OpenGL. Um, the only thing is that uh, in here uh, all of the code is in C++, and my program is in C, uh, but that shouldn't be a problem uh, because uh, the only difference is that in C++, uh, you have classes, uh, and you can kind of get the same functionality in C by using structs and uh, uh, specific uh, functions for that struct. So it it really isn't a problem. Yeah, and that's about it. See ya.